Okay, I knew I would run into this problem eventually, but I didn't expect it to come so soon. If you don't know, I'm currently at the start of my quest to watch and review every anime released in 2005. Well, when it comes to Our My Goddess, I'm really stuck with a conundrum. This show is far from bad, but it's also far from good. Really, if I had to sum it up with one word, I would say unremarkable. Which is a pretty big fucking problem since my whole job here is to remark on things, so this forces me to dive a little deeper. Let's talk about this unremarkable show first, and then I will expand from there. Am I Goddess is a magical girlfriend show where a goddess grants our main character one wish, which he then uses semi on accident to wish that she would stay with him forever, and rom com ensues. Yep, this is a light rom com with the occasional vague gesture towards genuine drama or romance, but never full commitment in that direction. Now, here's where the challenge lies to me talking about this show. It's really hard to find any obvious flaws. The dialogue is consistently just entertaining enough, the directing and momentary editing is flat and utilitarian, but never actually a problem. There are no glaring continuity errors or confusing moments where I wasn't sure what was happening in a scene. The animation is fine, the score is fine, there are only one or two laugh out loud moments in the whole show, but the no joke completely falls flat enough to make me wince. The entire thing just feels like it's coasting leaning back on the popular source material and knowing that it can put in a minimum amount of effort and still come out on top. Thus, by being fine or even just good, Am I Goddess ends up being 100% forgettable. In some ways, I would have preferred a worse show so that at least something would stick out in my mind. Well, I mentioned the source material, so let's focus on that a little more. Am My Goddess feels like a very templated, generic magical girlfriend show because the manga literally invented the concept. Well, I'm not sure I can set up the confidence, I'm sure there is some obscure media out there to do it first, but it certainly cemented and popularised the genre which is so prevalent today, it seems hard to imagine an anime landscape without these tropes. I haven't read the manga, but from what I've seen, it looks to have a slightly more visually interesting style, with lots of colour pages in the latter half of its run, done in calming watercolour. Other than that, I'm just going to have to go off reviews I saw while researching this. It seems like the manga also runs into the only major flaw I can really point out with the anime, which is... There are no character arcs, literally none. It's almost impressive how little these characters change. This can be highlighted in the complete frustrating lack of progress with their relationship. A annoying staple of anime rom-coms, this is yet another show where the romance never progresses beyond hugging. That's not that unusual for a 24 episode anime, but it becomes impressive when you realize the manga ran for 26 fucking years. 26 years is longer than I've been alive. Actually think about that for a second. What sort of person could write the same generic rom-com misunderstandings and fish out of water comedy for 26 years without feeling the need to create any sense of character development? The mind boggles. Another trope this show pioneered is the harem of goddesses which seem to concreate around our main character. In fact, I was surprised by how much each character shares with those in Senko-san, which in my opinion is a far superior work in this genre since at least that show has a narrative conclusion towards the end. I guess Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid would also stand out here. It goes well beyond rom-com and has a little something called actual themes, you know, like the artist had something to say by making it about the nature of family. I guess Ah My Goddess, that name sounds so goofy in English, still not as bad as Darling in the Franks though. It's testament to, if you want something to be successful, you just have to make sure it's completely unchallenging. The female lead, Belle Dandy, runs into the Superman problem. As a literal goddess, her only flaws come from being too perfect and innocent. And since this show is unwilling to veer from the light-hearted rom-com mold, there's no room for her to change or develop in any way. Sure, she's cute or whatever, but she's actually too perfect to be a compelling or relatable character. She exists only as fan service for men reading that maybe someday a beautiful goddess will fall in love with them just because they happen to be in the right place at the right time. There's really nothing else to say about this show. Even though I'm criticizing it, once again I have to emphasize that there's nothing really wrong with it per se, it's just incredibly generic and bland. If you're interested in rom-coms or the magical girlfriend genre, maybe read the manga, at least as a historical curiosity, but I can't find it in myself to recommend this anime to anyone who doesn't have a specific fetish for light rom-coms with goddess girls. Feel free to comment if you think I missed anything though. Oh yeah, minor plot hole. How does no one ever mention that Belle Dandy and all the other goddesses have blue shit on their faces? No one ever mentions it through the whole show. Eh, whatever. After 10 episodes, I decided to drop this show. Not because it was bad, just because I felt like I was gaining nothing by continuing. Or rather, just being okay can work when watching weekly, but it gets very grating when you're trying to binge a show. I did consider finishing it, but I just can't see myself enjoying anything else about this. Tomorrow, I will be reviewing Maho Sensei Negima, so be sure to subscribe in order to catch that and every other show from 2005. 
why am I doing this to myself? If you pity me, my Patreon's in the description so you can at least give me some reason to continue this series beyond borderline self-harm. Thanks for watching.